Hey guys, it's uh, Church's Graveyards and Graves here and uh, it's just started to rain but I haven't got my dog here today because I wanted to do a quick whistle stop of some of the things uh, to see around this amazing church. I'm in Northwich and this is the Church of St Helens. So without further ado, let's get on to the first thing. So I'm going to turn this around because right by this north porch is something really well it's inconspicuous really most people would just pass it by so I'm going to show it you and um, you just think it was a normal stone wouldn't you but if you look really closely particularly if I go around this side there's like a cross here and it's a blade and actually this is the remnants of a Saxon grave so um, and you can certainly tell by the markings that it's it's particularly old um obviously <clears throat> you know you've got a lot of moss now growing in in the you know in these sections but it's still got a lot of the markings that you would expect on a saxon grave so this would be from around the the, the first century ad and uh, i'm not quite sure why it's it's ended up at the north porch but uh, that's the first thing i wanted to show you at this church so Hope you enjoy that. So that's the Saxon grave. So there's a lot to talk about here at St. Helens. So we'll carry on walking around. The next thing I want to show you is um, a lot of churches, <laughs> obviously sometimes, you know, when they got bored going to church, they do a bit of graffiti. And uh, you can sometimes see it inside the church and sometimes you can see it outside the church as well. So I'm going to show you that because sometimes the graffiti on churches is really amazing. So uh, there's some here. There's, there's a few bits actually. Some of it's more modern, some of it's less modern. So um, you've got a mark in here. I'm not exactly sure whether that is graffiti, but it still seems a bit bizarre that they'd write it there. You see the date there? I think it's either 1801, 1891 and, and there's more graffiti around um, if you keep looking. I'll show you some more in a bit but uh, you know sometimes people were just hanging around and they would carve the names or their initials into the walls. Uh, I'll just give you a quick look round so you can see that um, you've also got these interesting stones here I'm not exactly, I assume it's Latin, um, but you know, um, they obviously meant something. A lot, of, a lot of these churches was superstitious, particularly on the north porch, and used these stones as like protection from familiars and evil spirits. And if you uh, then go up the tower, which is some of the oldest bit, I don't know if I can zoom in a bit. There you go, and you can see these right, this writing up here again in Latin, and these dragons and carvings on the outer wall as well as the clock up here and if you go further up you can start to see the gargoyles um, you see that they're gargoyles because they're not grotesque because they're actually being used as drainage I would have thought that the clock was a lot more modern so yeah, that, that brings that out. So I just wanted to show you that. And there's something else of real interest here. And if you look, I wonder if you can spot anything about that wall. Because you can see these like, these holes here. And um, these are definitely not just part of the normal erosion. They're all at a relatively low level. If you go a bit higher, see that, you know, there is holes, but it's um, not, not the same type. These are really round. And these would have occurred through musket balls. So this is English Civil War. And um, when the Royalists and the Parliamentarians went to war, a lot of the time one of the soldiers or some of the army would end up taking sanctuary in churches because churches were a real sanctuary. And, uh, and therefore, sometimes it meant that as they retreated back to the church for sanctuary, um, they would get shot at but these are not bullet holes these are definitely muskets so yeah so that's interesting isn't it so if you come around here <laughs> I don't know if you can see them behind me yay <laughs> so there's the musket the musket balls of the English Civil War so I know a lot of my followers are American so we, obviously you had a, a war of independence and uh, you also had a civil war uh, the south versus north and we also had a civil war, although somewhat earlier on. 
So uh, and that was between the parliamentarians and the royalists, those who were uh, loyal to the king at the time and those that were loyal to parliament. And as we know, because everyone, well, a lot of people know English history, Charles got his head chopped off. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, we're going to carry on around here. I'm going to show you a little bit more graffiti. So this is a good one. So this is definitely graffiti. So you've got W. Goodwin, 1888, and John Hughes, 1862 and JPH 1862 so they really went to town with that you see little markings on a lot of these on a lot of these stones as well you see that down there that W but um, it always amazes me that they were to do this sort of thing and if you carry on round to the porch um, I've been trying to find out some information about these this is not graffiti and this is like a I would have said these are some sort of Masonic marking um, but they're quite distinct, aren't they? I wonder if you can spot like the bird here. It's amazing, isn't it? Um, well, I think so. And you know, if you if you then pull out, you can see the uh, these head corbels. I'm always stunned by some of these, and you can see that this part of the church is slightly later due to the carvings. And uh, I'll go across here and show you. There's this one, and then as you come out, you get these on the ledge again these are what we call grotesques so you can see those grotesques up there and they're like figurines and ugly faces and things like that look at that one absolutely stunning you can see it's a you know a grotesque often it was just the sculpture who put these on sometimes they were to depict something some sort of superstition um, but mostly they were just to do with the uh, sculpture showing his, his wares. We'll come out again and if you look up you can see where there once would have been a statue but obviously that's been removed. Yep, and this fine oak door. So um, I'll just spin you around a little bit so you can see. It actually is with the cemetery as well. There you go and these stunning graves there's a lot of tabletop graves here these are tabletop graves and this one is particularly interesting <laughs> i've not seen an angel like that before but look look at that face like a happy angel there and uh, it says here care such fair flowers from the garden gone who could have plucked them but the lord alone so that's what this writing says and uh, yeah and that's without a doubt that was a definitely the grave of a child so I'm just going to turn it around and just let you see the the beautiful church of St Helens here and even though it's a bit dull and then towards this side yep so this is St Helens in Northwich uh, the church is uh, originated from the 14th century. Obviously, um, in later centuries, it has got, it, it has changed a bit. Um, you can tell that by the windows. Some of the windows are different, and you can see the corbels and the way they've done the um, carving. So, so that's made a bit of a difference, and and that that that's how you can kind of tell what age the church is. So. Um, but I really wanted to show you this because uh, a few churches, particularly around this area, have got uh, mention to the Civil War. And I just also wanted to show you the graffiti. It's just those little things, isn't it, that make it personal. You know, that they're, they're over 100 years old and people carve that on. And when we get bored in church, uh, well, actually, we probably just text on our phone nowadays. <laughs> so when you're bored listening to the, listening to the sermon, <laughs> you just like text on your phone or call Facebook. <laughs> but, you know, in them days, they did carve the name into the wall. So I hope you've enjoyed it. So from St. Helens in Northwich, see you soon.